Okay, there's no denying it anymore. This pandemic is becoming scary. I mean, it was just announced here that we might be on lockdown until June. That is absolutely insane. Is this real life right now? I mean, it was already concerning, but so many provinces and countries, so many states are declaring a state of emergency. People are starting to realize that they need to take this more seriously. They need to take more serious measures to stop it. I know Donald Trump took this lightly, but now he's taking it more seriously. I mean, people need to take this more seriously to try to slow down the spread of COVID-19. People have been socially isolating themselves, which is a great way to stop the spread. But some people just aren't taking it seriously. It's hard to spread it when you aren't around other people. Unfortunately, though, a lot of people have contracted it. And this virus does not care if you are a celebrity or not. How's it going, YouTube? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dalsing, and welcome back to a brand new Most Amazing Top 10 video. Before I get started, I need some advice. What are some things you've found to survive the self-isolation? Because I am going absolutely crazy here. I haven't left my house in so long. I haven't seen another human being in weeks. And now I'm being told it could be months. I mean, my 30th birthday is coming up. I have a cottage rented coming up in June. I'm most likely going to have to cancel that. I can't have friends on my birthday. Uh, this absolutely sucks. <laughs> and always make sure if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you guys notice, uh, it's just an audio over because everyone is filming at home, but we're trying our best to still create YouTube content for you guys. Very passionate about what I do. And uh, no coronavirus is gonna stop me from making videos. I told you guys already, there's no stopping me from making YouTube videos. I'm here to live on forever. All right, let's get into this video. This is the top 10 celebrities who have been infected by the coronavirus, part two. If you guys missed part one, make sure you guys click over to the side. Uh, there's part one over there and also if I've missed anyone or if someone new got the virus since I filmed this video because these videos are pre-filmed in advance just so I can get ahead uh, make sure you let me know those celebrities in the comment section below and I'll try to go over them maybe we do a part three and I really hope it doesn't get past part three or part four because that just means more and more celebrities are actually having the coronavirus and i just want this thing to be over with so starting us off number 10 is prince charles at first i thought prince charles was the husband of queen elizabeth but then i found out he's 71 years old and i'm like whoa queen elizabeth isn't she like 90 something i know age doesn't really matter but then i looked into it and uh it's it's the sun but it's still dangerous for him because he's 71 years old. But it has been confirmed that he has tested positive for the virus. But as of right now, he is out of isolation after the recommended seven day quarantine. I'm pretty sure it was 14 days. He only had mild symptoms, which is good. But personally, I feel like he should have self-isolated longer than just seven days, especially because of his age. He's more vulnerable. And also, he interacts with a lot of people. Number nine is Harvey Weinstein. I don't even personally like to think of this guy as a celebrity anymore. I mean, just forget about him in prison. But former movie producer and current high-profile criminal has tested positive for the virus while he was in prison. He is currently being held in isolation while serving out his sentence. His doctors are concerned about his condition though. Considering that he has recently had a heart-related health issue, and because of that, this can actually make his symptoms a lot worse and might make his fight a lot harder. Number eight is actress Idris Elba. In a tweet posted on March 16th, he announced that he tested positive for the virus because he found out that somebody he interacted with also tested positive. In his initial Instagram post, he remained in fairly optimistic spirits about his condition, and he stated, I feel okay, I have no symptoms so far, but I've been isolated since I found out about my possible exposure to the virus. He has since recovered, but him and his wife, who also tested positive after isolating with him, are unable to go home to London due to travel restrictions, so they're just stuck in limbo right now, and a lot of people are. In at number seven, we have Kevin Durant. This was huge news, NBA star Kevin Durant of, uh, it's kind of weird to say, but of the Brooklyn Nets. He is one of four teammates to test positive for the COVID-19, and I'm pretty sure people on the LA Lakers tested positive as well, but they're not announcing who it was. 
I don't think it's LeBron James. I'm seeing this guy on Instagram. He's around his kids still. I'm pretty sure he would have self-isolated in, in his like gigantic basement. Well, it was announced on March 17th that his team was tested and luckily Durant hasn't experienced any symptoms. In response to the announcement, Durant said, everyone be careful, take care of yourself and quarantine. We're going to get through this. Taking the number six spot is Andy Cohen. Host of Watch What Happens Live, Andy Cohen tested positive earlier in March for COVID-19. While he has since recovered, he said that his symptoms included fever, a cough, tightness in his chest, some chills, loss of smell, an appetite, and a very achy body. After receiving his diagnosis, he quarantined himself at home and took just under two weeks to fully recover. During this time, he had to cancel his at-home filming of his show because he was too fatigued to manage it. Which, I mean, it makes sense. You're literally fighting a virus that caused a world pandemic. You're allowed to chill for a bit. Coming at number five, the British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. Johnson has revealed that he has tested positive for the COVID-19 as well. Ironically enough, both his health secretary and his medical advisor have also tested positive. Huh. Johnson said that he got tested after having fever and a constant cough. Because so many government officials had to do press conferences and interact with large groups of people during his initial spread of the virus, they are at even greater risk of contracting and unintentionally spreading the virus. Virus. Next up, Natalie Horler, probably better known for her stage name, Cascada. This singer revealed through an Instagram post that she tested positive. The diagnosis came after she was experiencing headaches, a fever, a loss of smell, and taste. And said that even before she tested positive, she was already in isolation, so she's going to keep herself 100% in quarantine for the next two weeks. I feel like there's a joke in her song, you know that one? Every time we touch... Okay, I'm definitely not going to try to attempt singing this one, but there's got to be a joke in that song, right? Our number three spot today goes to Colton Underwood. Uh, I don't know who this is. I absolutely don't watch The Bachelor. I've never seen it. Who are you? Okay, <laughs> Colton Underwood, Bachelor star... Um, it was revealed that he tested positive for the COVID-19. In mid-March, Colton recognized that he had symptoms consistent with the virus, including a headache, body pains, sweats, a serious fever, and difficulty breathing. He got tested the next day. It came back positive. After about 10 days of isolation with his girlfriend and fellow Bachelor star Cassie Randolph, who I don't know who she is either because I do not watch the show, and her family, he said that he's starting to feel back to normal. He actually got pretty sick because I was, I was looking on his Instagram. <laughs> Number two, we have Aaron Tevitt. Television, movie, and Broadway star Aaron Tevitt revealed on March 23rd that he tested positive for the virus. He said that his symptoms are very mild, more like a cold, but that he has already been keeping himself in isolation since March 12th, which is when Broadway started putting their shows on hold for the foreseeable future. Finally, at the number one spot, we have a tragic one. World-renowned chef Floyd Cardoz unfortunately passed away due to complications related to the virus. In addition to being a chef and restaurant owner, he's known for his win on the show Top Chef Masters, and also he made an appearance on the show Ugly Delicious. He got diagnosed after returning from India while he was filming the Ugly Delicious episode with Aziz Ansari and host chef David Chang. After admitting himself to a New York hospital with the fever, chef Floyd Cardoz passed away about a week later. And it's absolutely going crazy what's going on with uh, New York right now. They just became an epicenter. Um, the population of people being affected by the coronavirus in New York is absolutely insane. I really hope that you guys who are in New York, you guys stay safe, stay indoors, keep washing your hands. Please self-isolate out there. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 celebrities who have been infected by the coronavirus part two. It sucks that to make a part two. And it just goes to show that nobody is immune to contracting this virus. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter who you are. You think you have a really good immunity. You ate dirt as a kid. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you guys are self-isolating because you guys can spread the virus to someone else who is vulnerable, who is older, who does have a weak immune system. Well, that's it for me, guys. I was your host, Landon Dalitzing, and I'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.